Oh, that guy, because you guys want to get laid. It's not worth it. Boys, today's video is going to be about single mother. And for me, single mother, the trash. The complete trash. Let me tell you why. Most of single mother, to understand why I said a woman, single mother, a trash, you need to uh, understand female nature. A woman always going to look for a provider. Don't even think this is for love or all that bullshit. Woman look for provider. And for some reason, think about it. She got a kid. She choose to have a kid with whoever, and that thing doesn't work. That thing didn't work. Why, why that thing didn't work? How come she's not with that guy? Right there, for me, that's a red flag. She decided to have sex with a freaking loser. She made that choice. I mean, what? What do you want to be with a woman like that? Oh, she's gonna say, oh, "I was drunk." Blah blah blah. Women are not gonna take accountability for anything. They are always gonna be themselves. Most of them always gonna be themselves. Like, "Oh, I'm a poor victim. I am a victim." And because women look for a provider, and for whatever the reason, she dumped, because 80% of the splitting is made by the woman, because of the reason that I told you, women always look for a better provider. That relationship thing has nothing to do with love. It's have to do with a woman, female nature, they look for a better provider. Now she chose you, I guess. Because you're a good provider. But you're not, you're not the number one choice to have sex with. You, you see where I'm going with that? She's looking at you just for security. She's looking for a provider. So she chose you. That doesn't mean that she want to have sex with you. She's just looking for security. She's looking at, she's looking at you like you are a human wallet that's going to provide for her. I want you to think about that, boys. Female nature. Woman always go, going to look for a provider. And they always look around for a, a better provider than you. So nothing to do with love. And also, now you're with her, a single mother. Or her baggage. All the drama from the past. She bring that into your life. And that must be freaking awesome. And all that boys because you want to get laid. You want to put that dick inside of that hole. And you are going to end up with all that drama. That she bring into your life. Most of them that's what it is. The drama with her ex. You're going to be kind of involved in that bullshit. I mean, really? You want to end up with a single mother and her drama, her baggage? And another thing, she's a single mom. She got a kid. She might trick you into pregnancy. Boys, you need to understand female nature. You're going you to be able to have sex with her. The condo is going to be full of sperm. You're going to go uh, wash yourself, whatever. She's going to take that freaking condom and try to inseminate herself. There's a lot of fucked up women out there. And you know why she's going to do that? To try to grab you and keep you for herself. Women are fucking selfish, man. They have all kinds of crazy trick to try to grab you, hold you, and now you're, you're stuck. Think about it. You have a kid with her. What that mean for her? That mean child support. That's what that means for her. She knows if she have a kid from you, the whole thing, 
It's going to turn off to her advantage. She's going to look at you. Ah, my next human wallet. Boys, think about that kind of thing. You need to think about this. Her kid. You cannot discipline her freaking kid. You cannot do it. So think about it. You're down there. You're providing for that kid. You take your own money that you bust your ass. You're providing for that kid. And you cannot even discipline that kid. And if that single mother, she's a complete bitch, which there's a lot of them out there, she might use that kid against you. Never think about that. Never think about that. All that guy because you guys want to get laid. It's not worth it. And that kid, no matter what, after five, six, seven years, whatever, two years, six months, you're going to develop feeling for them. Because you provide as a man for that kid. And the, the feeling that you're going to develop, you want that kid to do good. And all that. And what happens if, for whatever the reason, she finds a better provider than you? She dump your ass. You have no right to see that kid anymore. All your investment that you put on that kid for, I don't know, 10 years, 12 years, whatever, gone. Oh God, if you want your family, boys, have your own family. Start from scratch. And even, I don't even advise you in North America, with what's going on right now for the boys, to have a family. You know why? Because ask a woman what a guys want. They don't know. They don't know what guys want. And there's a lot of women like that. You know what I call those women? A guy with tits and a vagina. There's a lot of women, I, I look at them and I'm like, it's not a woman. It's a guy. She behaves like a freaking guy. She's a nice piece of ass. I want to put my dick inside of her hole. But you look, oh, she behaves. She behaves like a man. And you look at that and you're like, oh, I might maybe bang her, but you don't want to have kids with, with, some, with a woman who behaves like a freaking guy. And there's so much of them, that masculine woman. And you ask those women what men want. They don't know what men, what, what men want. They have no clue whatsoever. What we want. We want a woman with submissive, attractive, and we want peace. We want freaking peace. We bust her ass 12 hours a day at work. We came back from work. Most of you guys don't like their job, don't like their boss, don't like the people that you work with. And you came back, oh, with a freaking nagging bitch who whine all the time and blah, blah, blah. And you cannot dump her ass because... You know if you don't her, that's going to keep you. That's going to cost you way too much money. Boys, you need to think about all that thing. I said all the time, think with your big head. Don't think with the little one, boys. Don't think with the little one. A woman, what is her first priority in life? That's going to be her kid. You're not going to be her first priority. And it's not even your kid. You're going to end up to be second. Maybe third after the dog or the cat. Women today, boys, they don't put the man as the priority. You're going to put the kid. You're going to put the dog, the cat, the bird in the cage. And a woman, female nature, as soon as she grab you, did you, I heard that so many times. I saw, I saw that she got you at, your, at her position by having a kid with you or marry you. Or in Canada, you live with her for more than six months, you consider her to be married in some province. Did you see that the, the attitude change? The attitude change. As soon as she got you by the balls financially and she know it, 
There's a lot of damn men do attitude change. They become a complete fucking bitch. They nag and complain. And women love the drama to have the to have the high emotionally up and down. Women are emotional. They love to hide their emotion going up and down. So they took a look for have drama in their life. They're not case. They're freaking not case, boys. So that's it, boy. Think about it. Single mother, it's not worth it. I don't I don't even advise to have sex with them because they could trick you into present pregnancy. So boys, I leave it at that. Think about it. If you like the video, share it. Maybe there's somebody out there that you could help. You saw him. He's going to hell with that single mother. Send in that video. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. If you think you could help one of your friends, one of the boys out there, send that to him. Help that poor guy. Wake him up. Okay, boys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.